Well, it stayed up over the night. It's not attached to anything other than clamps. And it was a pretty nice night last night. Oh well, it's not saying anything. It's a holiday Monday. That means breakfast. With people downtown. Bring my little girl. Can't bring Kitty. She has to stay here and sit on the couch and purr. Or sleep. She'll probably sleep. Just had breakfast. Steak and eggs. Yum. You like steak and eggs? Yep. Mm-hmm. Me too. Now we're heading back home. I didn't need my jacket. Or my hat, really. Butterfly. Came to visit. Wants to help out with a bimini. There's a little girl. Wants to play with a butterfly. Oh. There it goes. <laughs> Just uh, playing with this again. That angle gauge, yeah, like that. I have to get the angle right so I don't hit the backstay with the bimini. I might have to put the mask up to do that. Mm. You gotta look at some pictures. See if I can find that angle. I'm here measuring the angle of my backstay. Because my mast isn't up, I don't know where my backstay is going to be. So I have to, to compensate for that angle and make sure that the backstay doesn't hit the uh, solar arch. So I want the solar arch back, ideally maybe an inch from where it would meet the uh, backstay. Set up contraption here. My angle gauge there, the string taped to it, so I can get the angle of the backstay right there. If you can tell, there's a difference between the front of the panel arch and the backstay. So I'll get them with the panel back nine inches. It's going to be interesting. So that's as far back as I want to put it. I think that's as far back as it needs to go. I hope it is. I'm going to have to put up the mast to get this in place. So I get my correct measurements. I'm not going to bend things and then have them be wrong. Sweetie, can you help me put the mast up? Seriously? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to sail from here to the yacht club. What are you talking about? All right, uh -huh. So I've moved the boat uh, ahead to facilitate raising the mast. We're going to do that to neighbor's power washing. I want to get the mast up just so I know that what I make is going to be in the right spot. don't want any guesswork. So we got the mast up. I'm glad I did because that wire, the backstay. It's, well, it's about where I figured it was, but I'd rather be 100% sure. So, I build from here. How does that look? Pretty precarious, eh? It is. So, back in the garage, just turned my fan on so I can work this uh, solar controller. And I thought I'd plug this in, my little uh, gauge that tells me what, uh, what's happening, what I can getting through my uh, USB charge port. So it's 5 volts at 0.22 amps, and it is 1.1 watts at 0 .00, 0.00 amp hours, 0 .03 watt hours. 
It's, it's charging my phone, actually, is what it's doing. I plugged it in. And I'm recording with my phone. See the cable? It's right up to the phone. Can't even see it. So, uh, yeah, so that's what I'm, I'm up to. Fans on, it's running great. Neighbor's power washing. Uh, I was talking to him, I think he's gonna trim our hedges for us back here. That monster. It's not our hedge, it's his. He's got guys coming this week to do his. I said, just run down our side and we'll clean it up. Uh, it saves me butchering it because I don't want to kill his hedges. Uh, never know, take too much off and end up with dead hedge. Dead hedge isn't good. As soon as he's done power washing, I'm going to go take a look out at that. I've got it set up where I want it. Just got to make my bars. Figured out my width now for my bimini, which is perfect. I'm really glad I put the mast up because it was just pretty much guessing with, uh, with where I, the way I was doing it before. I should have put the mast up. Oh well, it's up now. <clears throat> it's gonna well, it's gonna help out a lot. We're gonna get it get it uh, set up. In the next few days, I can bend my pipe. Uh, oh, I've got to get another piece of pipe from the, the uh, hardware store. Well, we'll figure that out. This fan's been going for about five minutes. And the, <laughs> it's not using as much energy as what's being put in by the solar panel. That's good. I like that. So, that's it for today. I picked up another piece of this. I'll start playing with it tomorrow. I think uh, I think it's looking good. It's gonna work well. Started the barbecue. I'm really happy with the progress today. I've uh, decided that up here, right here, I'm gonna have another piece that comes down and hooks to the railing that's attached already. So about there. It'll be on 60 degree from here down. That'll give it a lot more stability because the pieces are going out and up and yeah, it's, it's going to be strong, but I want it to be really strong because it's going to catch the wind like a sail. I'm sure as soon as this boat starts to heal, it's another sail. Don't tell the judges that when we're racing. It does look good, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Can I have flour for your mouth, Sure. Thank you. So there's been a, an addition to the garage. It's Heidi's idea. <laughs> the otter. The otter is now sent to the garage. Some type of weird punishment. Or maybe I'm being punished. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, there's an otter here. Oh, <laughs> was in the back porch. We found that at a Salvation Army thrift store in Tilsonburg. I think it was $2. Well worth the $2, that's for sure. I'm going to wrap it up here. I'm going to put my stuff away. That uh, can wait for tomorrow. I'm going to go get some pieces and uh, maybe get building or building, maybe get bending some stuff. It depends on what the day's like. It's supposed to be a pretty crummy day, so maybe not. But uh, got my drawings and I'll order, or well, I'll go get my parts. I think I, Heritage Marine has them. Do that in the morning. Yeah, get things underway. 